you know, have other things to do besides working 95 for 40 hours. There, I said it. There, I said it. <laughs> Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is India. If the lighting is a little weird, it's kind of golden hour, so hopefully we can keep this wicked lighting. Today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me, like a chit chat get ready with me. This topic was very like highly requested on my Instagram. Um, my Instagram is below if you guys want to follow me. Um, you know, we ain't doing nothing over Thank you. This video is going to be about the pros and cons of working in nightlife. I work at this very like premier strip club here in Atlanta. Um, it's like world known, so I feel like I have a very unique perspective and I've been working in nightlife off and on for about five years. Um, I've taken some breaks, but I end up always coming back to it just because I've been trying to figure out you know what I wanted to do with my career and but I also needed to still take care of myself so we're gonna get into it I'm gonna give you the tea I'm gonna tell you what's great about it what's bad about it like the good the bad the ugly let's get into it I'm going to be doing my makeup while I give you the pros and cons I have a list here can you guys see this a little list of the pros and cons and I'll probably get into a little bit of like a story time for each pro and con as I do my makeup so Let's start off with priming. I'm about to go in with the Flawless Filter, Hollywood Filter by uh, Charlotte Tilbury. Um, this is just my experience, like my personal experience. I know everyone's experiences will be different. Um, I typically have worked at black slash African owned clubs. So I'm not sure how it feels to work at a white owned club. Um, no shade, I just don't. So these are like, these are like my personal, personal experiences, okay? a lot of black slash African owned clubs here in ATL so the first okay let me just go in with my foundation um, I'm using the makeup forever HD skin and I'm mixing it with the NARS foundation just because I'm not this dark like as dark as I am after putting on the flawless filter so I'm going to kind of add like a lighter color it's gonna work out so good in the end so i know i look crazy right now but just work with me okay the first pro to working in nightlife is the most obvious one okay whether it's like a strip club or like a regular club is the money the money is the allure of working in nightlife like the reason why people get into nightlife and really introduce whether it's dancing whether it's um stripping whether it's like waitressing or bartending or whatever the case may be it's because of the money it's fast money and that's a big pro it's it's a big pro because the fast money allows you to you know invest if you want to you can start a business you know you could really make your money work for you and you don't have to work from nine to five five days a week so it can give you more flexibility to you know work your money if you want to if you want to have multiple jobs you know so I would say that's the first pro, but I would also say that that's the first con is the fact that it's fast money. So probably you've heard this perspective, but the faster it comes, the faster it can go if you're not financially li literate. And also if you, um, if you try to chase the lifestyle that you see represented in the clubs. So that's a big, con as well it's the fact that the money is so fast so you think you're going to keep getting it but from my experience and from i know a lot of other girls can attest to this that listen as fast as that money comes is as fast as it can literally go like you can make a thousand dollars tonight and then maybe the next night you make 200 or, or or 100 or whatever because not every night is a good night that's a myth that's just a myth. You're gonna have bad nights. Some people's nights are better than others. It just depends on the type of club that you work at. But you know, there's good nights and there's bad nights, and you want to make sure that you're saving and budgeting out, just like you had a regular job and you got paid every two weeks. It's so hard to do that, but time has taught me how to be a better money manager. So yeah, I love this foundation. It's looking a little dark on camera but in person it's really it's really pretty so hopefully it'll translate 
we're gonna go in with the Makeup Forever uh, concealer next. I'm gonna apply this and then I'll get into the next pros and cons. Okay. So, okay. This is also related to money. And this is something that I think is a lesson that everyone should learn is that you don't have to trade your time for money. What that means is, is that your time, like for example, if you work at Chick-fil-A and you make $14 an hour, you're trading that hour for money. Whereas in nightlife, it's dependent upon how you hustle. So to me, that's more valuable because time is priceless. So you can't get an hour of your life back, especially building somebody else's business. So it's, it's nicer to be able to see that you can actually make money without trading so much time or without that like undervaluing your time. Ooh, that concealer looks so good. I mean, it covered up my dark circle so quick. So I just, I feel like that lesson is an important lesson to learn in life period, but working in nightlife teaches you that. It really, really does because I can make, you can make $100 an hour, you can make $200 an hour, it's all dependent on you. And obviously there's certain factors you can't control, like if it's slow that night, or you know, you have an asshole as a customer, which I have had, you know, we've all had assholes as customers that don't wanna pay you etc that don't see your job as valuable just like some people don't see um a mcdonald's worker's job as valuable but if you go to mcdonald's sis like that's important how many times have you went to mcdonald's and the ice cream machine wasn't working you know what i'm saying so it just teaches you i don't know what that had to do with what i said but i was just frustrated real quick mm, i was just frustrated but anyway it just teaches you that you don't have to trade your time for money so let's get into a con. Okay, this is a con that has to do with money. We're gonna talk a lot about money because I feel like that's a really important aspect of working in nightlife. So let me just set this and we'll get into the, the next con. I know the back of the mirror is dirty, but the front isn't, so don't judge me. Okay. Oh, just while I'm thinking about it, another pro to working at the club especially the strip clubs is if you don't know how to do makeup or you don't know how to do your hair you can learn it through the girls that are doing their own hair and makeup in there and they at my uh, club they have um a house mom etc that can also do your makeup for you so i think that's a big um that's just i wouldn't call that a pro i mean maybe it is i wouldn't call that a pro but that's just a great a great tool to learn how to do as a girl is to learn how to do your own makeup so you're not always dependent on other people so to me that's like a really that's a really big con i mean pro goodness doing your makeup and talking is but i like having something to do besides like play with my hands when i'm trying to talk to you guys so next con um the money that you make i know my girls can tell me on this can make you spoiled, lazy, and delusional. And I will give you a reason for all of those. It can make you spoiled because obviously you're making way more than the average person. Like some of us go home with a thousand a night, 800 a night, 500 a night. That's more than the average person regardless. So it can make you very spoiled in that you, you become accustomed to making all that money without necessarily having a trade you know what I mean? Because I personally think being a waitress and just being a waitress or a bartender or whatever in nightlife, I do think that that's a skill. Like, I think you learn a lot, a lot um, in doing it, but it can make you spoiled. It can also make you lazy because you don't want to work hard to do anything. Like, this is not a very hard job. It can be frustrating and it can be annoying at times, but it's not like it's hard. Like, it's not like it's hard. It's, it's really not hard like laying pavement is hard doing construction is hard like doing landscaping is hard you know certain things are way harder than this so i'm not even gonna front and act like my job is like super hard it's actually very easy but because it's so easy it can make you very lazy um it can also make you delusional into thinking that 
everyone makes your type of money, especially if you're doing this job as a younger person, you can become delusional thinking that everyone is living the same lifestyle. That is not true. Our parents had to work years before they could make this type of money. Like, for real. I think about that often, and it can definitely make you delusional. And it can make you delusional as to the type of men that are out there. Child, dating period while you're in nightlife is just... It's a mess. It's a mess. It really is. And I could probably make a whole video around dating. Especially here in, here in Ireland. It's just interesting very interesting but anyway those that's my next set of cards is that it can make you spoiled delusional and lazy okay you know to another pro when you go Okay. What am I doing? What am I doing? Blush. Okay. Next pro. You can have flexibility. And when I say flexibility, I, I truly mean flexibility. Like, I truly feel like working in nightlife gives you, like, the ultimate flexibility. So not even just with money, but with your time. It can give you time to help you figure out your career what you want to major in in college it can give you time to kind of figure out you know just a lot just where you want to go in life it could give you the time and the space to figure that out which I can't say that about a whole a whole bunch of other jobs I think the service industry just period gives you the time and the flexibility to be able to try things out and be like you know what I don't want to do this anymore while still be able to take care of yourself you know and a lot of people it, it really is a blessing because a lot of people don't get to do that. They don't get to try things. They don't get to, to fail because they're truly making 15 an hour, okay? Like, they're making 15 an hour and that whole check with taxes getting taken out, etc. like this, is literally what they use to take care of themselves. They cannot really... I think I want to contour my cheeks a little bit with the Fenty, so. It's funny how different I look in the camera versus like real life. Like I'm not this this orange in real life. I know it looks crazy. But um it can give you the flexibility that you need to figure to figure your out. Seriously. You really, really can. And that's a blessing. Especially if you're like me and you didn't have the luxury of staying with your parents into adulthood some people can just stay with their parents and if you can stay with your parents like i was telling this younger girl you really don't need to work in nightlife you can work a regular job and save up and be fine but if you need to live by yourself or you have to live by yourself or you have kids or whatever the case is because i work with a lot of girls who have kids i think almost all the girls i work with have kids you know it's a great way to be able to provide but still be able to dedicate your time to your children so especially if you're like a single a single mom or whatever like i see most of the girls i work with are single are single moms so salute to salute to them salute to them because they're doing it by any means necessary and that's another thing that's another pro as well let me just say that while i'm thinking about it that's another pro because it teaches you how to hustle and how to do stuff by any means necessary and how to truly be in control of your outcomes in life and i know that just sounds so like girl what in the club does not yes it, it really really does and maybe it's just me maybe i just process experiences differently but that's how i take it like it truly does help you understand who you are as a person but let me not get ahead of myself let me go back to the car oh okay this is another money one i told you it's a lot about money so looking at the lifestyle of other people while you're in nightlife it can actually make you think you make more money than you actually do, or you, you have more money than you actually do, and you'll begin to live above your means. And a lot of people I know have, you know, have been guilty of that, and, and that's okay because you you have to learn. Does anyone else still curl their lashes? I do. But you, you end up living above your means. So because you see so many people in the industry and entertainment, because that's basically what the industry that we're in you know buying benzes range rovers bmws getting these nice condos etc etc living like they just got it it can make you want to like fall into that trap but i suggest that you create your own goals 
that are realistic to you and don't fall into that trap because if you have a bad night or a bad month or when COVID happened, we all had to shut down, nobody could really work, then you're stuck paying those high ass bills and you're not making that money anymore. So you have to be really, really smart, like for real. So I'm gonna do my brows, we're doing my new. My brows are gonna take me completely off again. I'm gonna do my brows a little bit. I'm gonna do my eyeshadow. My eyeshadow looks really good. Um, so that's um, that's a that's a con. You know? it, and if you like. I think I said what I had to say, but yeah, it can make you lose bug your means and not have a way to cover it. So make sure you're saving. Okay. Another pro. Okay. Yeah, this is easy. Another pro. You will meet so many people at the club that I work at now. I have met so many valuable people, so many people I've networked and met, so many people just throughout the time that I've been working in my life. But particularly this past like six months, I've met so many valuable people that I, you know, hope that I'll be able to stay in contact with and build relationships with. These are people that you're probably not gonna meet in everyday life as well, because these people uh, typically are high powered in their careers, and I'm talking about guys and girls, so, you know, both, but, You'll be able to like network and really build relationships with people, and they'll really like begin to really like you, and you can build a rapport with these people. So if you're smart, and it depends also about what you want to do for a living, but everybody goes to the club, everybody parties. So if you are the type of person and you're charismatic, you're charming, you ask questions, you talk to people, you will probably meet somebody that is going to be able to benefit you in the long run, and maybe you can benefit them, or just by giving them a good experience, you're benefiting them. I'm sorry for this little light. Hopefully, maybe I can get in front of it. Because I just realized I don't know why it's over I hope it's not annoying, guys. I really hope I don't have to refill this. Now you're going to get it out. Give it to you. Anyway, that's a that's a big pro. The connections and the networking, amazing. Um, a con of that, though. Con is that it can make you, working in nightlife can make you a finesser. It can make you a finesser. It can make you look at things in a, in a different way than when you looked at them before you started working in nightlife especially here in atlanta this is like finesse city city of smoke and mirrors honestly so working in nightlife will make you become a little bit more of a finesser meaning someone who will kind of do things specifically for your benefit and also try to mildly manipulate people to get your way and to get something out of people and the reason why it does make you turn into that type of person is because you have to do that at the club like you're really finessing like you're really you're upselling you're finessing you're you're inspiring people to you know live a certain lifestyle that's i mean that's the entertainment industry period so you can't just blame it on clubs that's the entertainment industry period it makes you a little bit more of a finesser but it makes you it makes you more charismatic more you know quick with it it makes you more relatable it, 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 which is a pro so it's like two sides to a coin so it's like interesting because every single pro that i have that i wrote down there's really a con to it and vice versa because i think that it depends on the type of person that you are like what kind of person do you want to become by working in you know the club because it's just going to underline or like accentuate the type of person that you already are I truly believe that. So it can make you a bit of a finesse, but it can make you better with people at the same time. So, you know, a con that I think people don't think about when they get into this industry beforehand? This industry will show you really the dark side of people. Like, it'll show you how selfish people can be. It will show you how manipulated people, you can be, people can be, how overly competitive people can be. It will show you really the dark, just the underbelly of humanity, which is so interesting to me because I don't know if you guys watch Soft White Underbelly, but a lot of people, well, I won't say, it's not like they're waitresses that get interviewed, but there are dancers who get interviewed about, you know, where they come from and stuff. But working in the strip club definitely shows you the darker side of human beings. It just shows you how dark we can really get, which to me is a pro and a con. I'm doing it again, it's a pro and a con. Because you need to know that, that that exists. Like you can't be walking around life all naive. So working in the club will get that in check, baby. Like 
you think everybody is nice and everybody's here for you no that's not the case and that's not the reality and that's okay because there's people that are going to be here for you and there's people that are not going to be here for you you need to know that so you can move accordingly i truly believe that let me do this eyebrow because this is about to take me out the game for real i don't know what i was thinking we're experimenting child we're trying to test the limits and see what we can do for real Jackie Aina teach me because Jackie is really the queen of doing makeup tutorials and talking at the same time. Like, how you do that? How you do that? Jackie, Jackie, teach me. I'm really not that good at doing my brows. I'm just a good finesser. <laughs> I'm just really good at finessing my brows. Okay, so I'm back, brows done. I mean, I guess they're done. They look good to me. So, um, I think the con that I left off at was, um, oh, you get to see the dark side of people. And even to just be more specific. You get to see the dark side of men as well. Which I think is important as a woman because you want to know who you want to be with. This is for heterosexual women, obviously. You want to know the type of guys that exist. You just need to know. You need to know the differences. You need to know how to look, like how to tell the difference between certain types of guys. So if you guys want a video about that, let me know. If you guys want a video about how, I guess, nightlife has affected how I look at dating and how I look at men, then let me know in the comments or hit me up on Instagram. I will be happy to do a video about that. An another pro is that you get to see how men look at other men. So you kind of get a like a little bird's eye view into how men interact in the, in the club, in the strip club, just around each other. In my club, there's a lot of politics, there's a lot of industry people that go there, a lot of people with money and power. So I've gotten to see firsthand how, how men interact, which is very interesting because, like I said, you want to be able to see who is, who is who. It's that's so important. Like, you want to know who you're letting into your life. And if you don't know, you can end up with the wrong person and the wrong person. And I don't want to sound too like I don't know like pessimistic because I'm a super optimistic person but I'm also very realistic and I know that not everyone is meant to be in your life and working in nightlife will teach you that um so I guess that's a pro and a con whatever it can make you jaded but to me it makes you smarter that's just my personal opinion um another pro is that you get to learn how to seduce people like anyone who knows me is i'm really into um seduction i'm really into like femininity i'm really into just learning how to to be like i don't know like a seductress like that's just my thing i think i'm a very natural like siren if you guys are into the art of seduction but I'm into it and I think it's made me better at it because you, like I said in the beginning, you get to develop your charisma. You get to learn what makes people feel good, what makes people, what disarms people. You know, this can sound a little bit like bad, like finessing, but I think that it's, it can teach you how to flirt. It can teach you how to make people feel good. And that's always a good thing. I'm just gonna use my Charlotte Tilbury powder to like buff everything together. I feel like every, it's looking a little, Un, like ununiform so let's just do that real quick and i'm going to use two different setting sprays real quick so i'm, I'm going to use the in my little vlog and haul, I told you guys that this kind of leaves you a little bit shiny but still flawless. So I like to use um, a little matte setting spray on top of it just to give it like double stain powder, powder power, but you also mattify it. But it, both of those together to me, like, they work, child. They work for me. Let me take some Okay, so I had to get that stuff off my lips. I'm gonna use my pure my fingers. Okay, let's do another con. Oh. This is a big con, and it definitely affects you 
when you start to date as well. But the con to me, would be the stigma that's attached to work with the same way. So there's definitely a stigma. If you don't think there's a stigma, that's just because you don't you don't work in nightlife. But there's definitely a stigma attached to working in nightlife. Uh, and the stigma can be, you know, any of the things that I'm about to say. You know, that you're lazy is a good one. And a lot of us are, so whatever. But that to me is a stigma because a lot of because a lot of us are also hustlers and do other things on the side. So that's not necessarily true. But that we're lazy, that we're hoes, um, that we talk to multiple men all the time, that we're always finessing men. So if you tell a guy that you work in nightlife, these may be some of the things that he's going to assume of you, and it may not be true, or it may be true. Who knows? But you know, you just get prejudged working at nightlife. And I can't even imagine the prejudgment that you get from being a dancer, you know? So I'm not a dancer, but you know, I know if I get prejudged, I know they get prejudged, which is whack because I think you can miss out on a lot of people by prejudging them and thinking that they're gonna come with a certain type of energy when really they're the opposite. So guys, y'all be missing out on some good girls that work in nightlife because a lot of the girls that work in nightlife are hustlers they're feminine you know they're charming they're beautiful they take care of themselves um they take care of their kids like i just think i've seen so many girls with so many like great qualities in the club and i think that they maybe could get overlooked and not treated the way they should be treated because they work in nightlife which to me is whack you've got to be a special type of guy to date a girl in nightlife and i get it like Working, like having a girlfriend or someone who you're dating working in nightlife is definitely, you can't be an insecure man. And honestly, certain men, just because they have the natural urge to protect and they want to in their territorial like that, it's not even that they're being insecure. It's just as hard for them to imagine other guys wanting to like be all over you, which is what happens a lot of the time in nightlife. I'm not even gonna lie, I'm not gonna cap. That does happen, but yeah, it takes, a certain type of guy to be able to accept that and to rock with you because you know it's like if you're doing it to get to better goals i feel like your your person should be able to understand that but just like maybe you would understand if sorry guys i'm shiny i'm just trying to alleviate some of the shine while still being you know, luminous okay i think i did what i need to but yeah like people can judge you and guys will judge you there's a stigma and i just think that stigma is whack personally but if they miss out on you they miss out on you sis don't let what the world is going to think about you make you make your decision you should make your decision based on what you want out of your life and what you see for yourself and you should take advice from people who have what you want and, and kind of have a have a, a general positive perspective about life don't take advice from pessimists I mean, maybe you can just take it with a grain of salt, personally, but yeah, that's a con, okay? A con. I would say a pro is you get introduced to a lot of different type of guys, but a con is, is that the type of guys that you're going to get introduced to are typically within a certain niche, I'll say. So you're going to meet a lot of entertainers, a lot of athletes, a lot of financial magicians. Um, you're going to meet a lot of maybe people in the street life, you know, that are really attractive, but they also have a stigma that comes with them. So if you're okay with dating those type of guys, then you're probably gonna meet some guys that you like. If you're not okay with dating those type of guys, you probably are not gonna meet a lot of guys to date while you're working in the club. I'm just, I'm just being realistic. I'm just gonna keep it 100 with you because no one told me this and I wanna tell you guys. I wanna give you guys a little bit of game because you are gonna get judged and the guys who are gonna accept you don't be judging them because they maybe are in a certain lifestyle too so because we have to deal with the stigma both ways um yeah i honestly think i covered like all the pros and cons i'm not gonna lie i think i did a, a pretty good job i'm back to do my eyeliner so i i'll you know I want to tell you guys kind of what I learned while work while working in nightlife. Since I kind of gave you guys the pros and cons, I'm going to tell you some of the things that I have learned while working in nightlife. So one of the things I've learned is how to manage my money. 
I've learned how to manage my money. And baby, it was a struggle. It was a struggle. Maybe I can look into here and do it. It was a struggle to learn how to manage my money. Especially when you're so young and you're making so much of it. It's a struggle, but it will help you in the long run because some people don't know how to manage money until they're in their 50s and 60s. Period. So if you can learn at a younger age, that to me amazing like it will teach you how to manage your money it will force you to manage your money or else you're gonna be out of luck a lot of the time so that's one of the main things i learned and i, I keep trying to talk and do this but you i can never be shamed and i usually never say never how shit look at me today another thing that i learned working in nightlife and the strip club too specifically I would say is how important hygiene is see I already had really good hygiene because I grew up with a mom who did not play that she did not play that but some girls could learn a lot from dancers and just from us in nightlife because we have to smell good all the time especially the dancers so it, like you will learn proper hygiene because you will be walking around the club and you will smell certain smells that you yourself never want to smell like you really don't want to smell like that so i feel like one thing i learned in, in nightlife is definitely how to always maintain your hygiene how to keep that breath smelling good keep the bo you know smelling good if you guys haven't seen my feminine hygiene video i'll maybe put like a little card over here but yeah check that out because hygiene Hygiene is so important as a woman, like, you really do get judged based off your hygiene, as you should, as you should, so, you know, working in nightlife taught me, like, how to have excellent, excellent, excellent hygiene, no lie, no lie, let me do this other eye, back then they didn't want me, now they all want me, one thing that's great about nightlife too, as soon as I try to open my, my mouth, that's what happens. Let me let me get a little. That's why you keep these. That's why you keep these. Mm. Let me fix that. Oh my god! I hate when I make mistakes. When I'm doing my makeup. Mm -hmm. I will say that the nightlife industry and the entertainment, like not the entertainment, but the nightlife industry, strip clubs, etc. they can give you a platform to really like do what you wanna do, no lie. So many girls used to work at clubs. So many other girls who used to be, like who are famous now and who are popping, they have their platforms, they have their brands, maybe they're rappers, whatever the case. They worked at clubs, they worked in nightlife. So if entertainment is something that you want to be a part of, I would say that working in nightlife is something that you should do because you will expand your network. You'll probably even get discovered working in nightlife, like being a bottle girl or a dancer or whatever. Like just think, think about how many rappers have named and dated and put on people who work in nightlife but this is specifically for people who want to be in like probably like media entertainment whatever it's not for everybody but definitely if you're interested in that like so many of the girls have gotten discovered whatever put on they meet the right record exec whatever it's a shame that guys can't work in that life for real because they will probably become more like successful more faster like faster I'm just filling in my little, little beauty marks that act, they actually exist. You wake up and you wanna go shop. Yeah. Pick out a car, you got too many options. Bubble gum, baby, yeah, you got it. Paddle it. Know what you do for the paddle. Paddle it in a little bit. You suck slap. Like the queen of the map. As soon as I cut, she keeps sucking on one of the stops. I think I'm gonna put on lashes. Even though I should be putting on lashes. This is gonna stick in the middle. I'm just gonna put it on. You said it was, but just really been coasting. Me and the baby in motion. Wanna get tired of you? Yeah, okay. Let's try some lashes. I've got these Ardell Demi Whiskies. Also, one thing that you will learn how to do in nightlife is to give people grace because not everybody was raised like you. 
not everybody comes from where you come from. Everyone has a different culture, a different background. And I'm not just talking about the people who work at the clubs. I'm talking about the people who are going to come to your club that are rude, disrespectful. They don't know how to tip. They, they talk to you any kind of way. Like, for real. You will learn patience and grace. I mean, it's so funny because most people would not expect that that's like something that you can learn in the nightlife. But I think that's something you can learn in the service industry period is how to give people grace. Because, honey, the amount of times that I wanted to slap the mess out of somebody at the club that I work at is like countless times. Countless times. For real. Because people will try you. People will disrespect you just because they don't respect what you do for work. And I think that's so whack. Like, if you don't respect me based on that, then you're lost. You're lost. Because you should, you should respect people based on character. Like, it will teach you, like, the nightlife will teach you how to judge people off character. It really, really will. Because you can't judge people just based off what they have and what they got and what they... Because you can have someone who comes in and you serve them. And they have all the money in the world, but they have a thank attitude, they're disrespectful, they might disrespect your co-worker, disrespect the dancer, and that is whack. That is so, so whack. I can't even explain to you how whack it is. Like, I'm sure there's so many girls in nightlife who have met somebody that they were a huge fan of, right? And the person ends up just being so just not what you expected. Like, wow, you really are not a good person. Like, you're not nice. You're not respectful. Like, you don't even have good qualities. Like, people, like, and you have to remember, people in nightlife, they're, they're giving you a service. Like, they're not, they're not just, like, we're, we're not just, we're not slaves, we're not just slaves. So it will show you just how many people believe that you're just a slave because you work in my life. It's so crazy to me. Like to this day, I still come across grown people who will treat you like you are subhuman because you work at a club or you work in my life. And it will show you just how important finding a, a partner who respects people who work in any type of customer service because you will become like disgusted by people who don't respect you know customer service people whether that's in restaurants at drive uh, drive throughs fast food whatever you will be non-tolerant of the disrespect on all fronts which i think will make the world a better place because no one should be disrespecting anybody based on what they do for a job i'm just especially especially if that person is serving you, it's bad. Let me see. I don't have my tweezers, so I'm going to try to put it on with my finger. Let's see how this works out. Oh, 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 oh. Let's see if we can do it with the next one. Okay. But all in all, I think, I think nightlife is for a specific type of person, just like I think people who do landscaping is for a specific type of person like i'm never going to be landscaping i'm never going to do that but someone needs to do it everyone has a job to do you know what i'm saying and you can't judge people based on the job that they're you know that they're doing at that moment because you never know you might disrespect somebody who works in nightlife and this person ends up becoming anything and you come across them later in life and this is just a general lesson for anybody you come across them later in life and they are someone that uh, who's helped you mm -hmm. mm -hmm. there's a lot of really talented people that work in nightlife and typically i feel, and i'm not saying that nightlife is just everyone there is so talented but it's just for some reason people in the nightlife were called to do those type of jobs just because we we view our lives in a different way. Like we view our lives in a way where we really value our time or we need to use our time for something else, whether that's developing a craft, other skills, saving, buying a home, buying some boobs, whatever it is. Like I haven't bought no boobs yet, but I'm just saying, like whatever it is, you know, we're hustlers. So to me, I'm not telling you to work in nightlife. I'm telling you, not telling you not to work in nightlife. I'm just giving you a perspective of someone who's been doing it for a while. It has seen a lot and I feel like it's for it's for the 
the thick skin is for the hustlers and it's for people who want to build a strong character and for people who you know have other things to do besides working 95 or 40 hours there i said it and there's nothing wrong with working 40 hours from 9 to 5 because that's a lot of people's grind but don't judge other people because they don't want to grind like you and they have another way of grind you know what i'm saying what we're doing is not against the law it's just different and it should be respected and if you choose to do it good luck to you because and i wish you all the abundance and prosperity that i have seen because and i hope that you save it that you save your money and you invest your money and you know do what you need to do with it because look easy come easy go easy come easy go baby you don't want to be those type one of the pe one of the people that hustle for 10 years and don't have nothing to show for it. And that goes for anybody. Like whether you work a 9 to 5 or whatever. It's like I think I get everything, but then I look around and I don't have everything. Like why why is that? Why do I do that? So let me know in the comments if you guys want me to make a video about like tips and tricks to make more money um to be a better waitress or whatever i don't know whatever you guys want to know i know typically the dancer girls are the ones making these videos but let me know if you guys are interested in like money counts a, a day and a night i mean a night a day in the life or a night in the life or something of me working a nightlife yeah comment below if you guys want to see money counts Whatever is interesting, whatever's interesting to you, then we will try to make that happen. I don't know what kind of look I want to do, so next. Like that, oh, I used to be fucking. You don't have nothing to say. Don't care about no cuffing. You want to keep busting it. Don't let me know when you came. I love you in so many ways. Don't know why you never complain. What you, I can never be shamed. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Um, I hope I was able to drop some gems and tell you some things that you don't know. Whether you guys choose to work in the nightlife or not, this stuff I think is just important to know. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Anything else you want to see from me, put it in the comments below. Wake up and you wanna go shopping. Yeah. Pick out a car, you got too many options. Bubble gum, baby, yeah, you got it poppin'. Know what you do for the pattern. Yeah. Kilo, I'm all in the mouth, you suck and slap it. Look like the queen of the mop. As soon as I cut, she keeps sucking, I don't want her to stop it. Open the bar. Ain't no pressure for me to scrape the pot. Get the pressure.